The British love their pets. We got told to get rid of our dogs and we said no, get rid of the kids. But what happens when they become sick or injured? Luckily there's free health care. They come with their bumps and bruises. Looking at the owners, the vets and the pet patients of the Blue Cross Animal Hospital, Friday at 8. On 4. On Channel 4 now, ghosts abound in our Short and Curly's presentation, Tomorrow Calling. pictures. Not that they ever come out, of course. I saw it, Mervyn. Sure, you saw it. But you read my theory about UFOs. Um, do you want us to go? The people do really see these things. Uh, because they need to, probably. Well, you read Jung, you know the score. You're telling me I'm going crazy? Why don't you start at the beginning? Tell me the whole story. Who knows? I might be able to use it. All right. Here it is. It is possible to photograph what isn't there, but it's damned hard to do. I'd been trying to suffuse this rocker with charisma you know hack work but this guy was sad so i quit depressed because I, I like to do a good job so when the chance came for me to redeem myself with a sublimely artistic assignment i jumped at it i met cohen at his office at barris watford they published those big trendy yeah, trade paper packs, illustrated histories of the neon sign that Bill, sort of thing. This is Dialta, Dialta Downs. Hi. Bill, he introduced me to Dialta Downs. She was the prime mover behind their latest project. It's an illustrated history of futurist, streamlined, modern. Just think of it as ray gun gothic. The working title of the book is The Airstream of Futureopolis, the tomorrow that never was. So what exactly do you want me to shoot? Futuristic Americana. Examples of a state of mind. Buildings and artefacts, which when they were made back in the 30s and the 50s, were a kind of wish fulfillment of the future. Weird art deco fantasies. Just look at the pictures, Bill. It's they showed there. me 1930s American dream architecture next to sci-fi pulps and romantic, unrealizable plans. Like a huge airliner, so big it contained squash courts and its own ballroom. This thing couldn't have flown. Oh no, quite impossible, but they love the look, don't you see? 
Think of it as a giant theme park, a series of elaborate props for playing at living in the future. Have you ever seen things to come? Yeah, yeah. The designers were populists. They were trying to give the people what they wanted, a future. A perfect future. Exactly. And that's what I want you to photograph, Bill. So off I went in a rented Nissan, searching for this historical vision of tomorrow. And gradually, I did tune into the Outer Downs' idea of a shadowy alternative now. Or maybe it tuned into me. Some of the buildings I photographed came across with a sinister totalitarian dignity, like the stadiums Albert Speer built for Hitler. But most of it was tacky, ephemeral stuff, and surviving bizarrely in seaside towns, like science fiction temples built by some lost sect who dressed in white togas and transparent sandals. I found myself wondering, what would they think of the world I lived in? The thirties dreamed white marble and slipstream chrome. The rockets on the covers of the sci-fi pubs had fallen in London in the dead of night, screaming. These things happen all the time, Bill. You're not even crazy. You know that, don't you? Bill. It's the mass unconscious. You saw a semiotic ghost. Now, take these alien contactees stories, for example. They're framed in a sort of American sci-fi imagery that permeates our culture. I could buy aliens, but not aliens that look like 50s comic art. They are bits of that deep cultural imagery that are split off and taken on a life of their own. You uh, picked up on that, somehow. The important thing is not to worry about it. Semiotic ghosts. Fragments of the mass dream. I didn't know who was crazier, me or Mervyn, but I did have a deadline to keep. For energy, I took a crumbling diet pill and made for my next seaside location, Blackpool, a five-hour drive. The Airstream Future Opulence. It's the mass unconscious. do watch television lots of it especially game shows and, and soaps read the tabloids hire porn videos what the fuck are you talking about just listen Look, i am letting you in on a trade secret really bad media can exercise your semiotic ghosts it narrows the parameters if it keeps those flying saucer people off my back. You can keep those Art Deco futuroids off yours. Just try it. What have you got to lose?
Not that one. I don't like science fiction. Hell of a world we live in, isn't it? Still, could be worse, eh? That's right. It could be perfect. Dialta Downs told me that she had loved my pictures. She had admired the way I'd really gotten into it and looked forward to working with me again in the future. Me? I try not to think about the future these days. Any future. Tomorrow.